Hi everyone and welcome back to Delicado. Um, my name's Ben and I'm the proprietor here and I look after the wine generally with another young man called Sam. Uh, today we're looking at Greek wine. For years I think uh, we didn't really see anything good from Greece in this country and what most people saw as Greek wines were usually the ones made with pine resin called Retsina, um, which are the sort of wines that probably gave Greek wine not such a good name in, in Australia. Anyway, they've been making wine, as you would suspect, for thousands of years. And it's a little complicated, their geography, because it's a whole bunch of islands. So trying to work out what is from where um, can often be quite difficult, as well as the fact that the grapes are indigenous, mainly. so. What you see is um, a whole lot of varieties with names that, for most people, um, seem a little complicated. This one that we're looking at today is a red. Um, it's made of a grape called a Georgitico. I'm sure it's pronounced a lot more fluently by the Greeks, but the pronunciation of even the, the winery itself, it's spelt Gaia, um, but it's actually pronounced Gia. Um, so don't be afraid to, to try and pronounce it as you see it um, because that's the first step to actually make that effort. Um, to pour it in the glasses I've done is probably step two. Um, it's a medium bodied red and for me this, this sort of grape variety reminds me a lot of Pinot Noir. So black fruits, it's not that um, not that inky in the glass. In fact, I can I can see through it. And as the colour suggests, medium body. But this is the sort of style of wine that I really like at lunchtime. Not too much oak, not too much alcohol or fruit sweetness, but just an easy drinking, savoury style of red. This wine actually comes from uh, what well, designated origins are from Nemea, N-E-M-E-A, um, and it's part of the Peloponnese group of islands, so off the Greek mainland, and it's not far from, um, I think, the town called Corinth, um, and the Corinthians we would know from our school days with um, the columns and the architecture. Um, an amazing period in civilization, and there were even Nemean Games. Um, I'm not sure if they predated the Olympic Games, but as we know it, they were into everything there. And when I was looking up the history of this producer and variety, um, it's steeped in ancient mythology, as as you would expect. So. It's a sort of great variety that they've been growing for thousands of years. It's made obviously in a more modern style. But if you're looking for something um, to compare it to, maybe compare it to Beaujolais or Pinot Noir. It is a little bit spicy. Um, but the alcohol on this one, what's well, 13 and a half, so it's bang on sort of medium bodied in terms of alcohol. You'll notice I've taken a second sip, it is rather moorish. And that's the sort of drink that, that we really enjoy with things like Spanish ham and chorizo here. But if you're going to have it with traditional Greek food, um, I don't know, even the old Spanakopita, the feta cheese and spinach with the phyllo pastry would sit wonderfully with this wine. So give it a try. Salute.